So what was it kind of like looking around a little bit? Yeah, it was a lot different than it has been. Um, you know, but I uh, feel like it's going in the right direction. Um, you know, guys are out there working hard and getting better, and that's all you can ask for. We've been asking guys about, about having an OTA taken away. What's the difference between OTA practices this year and last year, if you had to describe it? I mean, it's just, um, you know, I would say it's, it's intense, don't get me wrong, but, uh, you know, it, this team is young, and we kind of need that intense practice and, um, you know, expectation from the group to, you know, we do have, um, you know, like I said, a lot of young guys, and the expectations are high, um, you know, so you got to expect an intense practice. And, you know, I feel like um, the guys have really worked hard and, um, you know, have gotten a lot out of it. What have you learned over the years how to practice hard but kind of up to the point of contact? And it also had to stay on your feet and not go to the ground. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's tough to do, especially inside. Um, you know, when that's kind of our job is, you know, to fire off the ball and, and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, I think guys have done a good job overall. Um, obviously, there's going to be some times where there's guys on the ground. It's just a physical game. Um, you know, but I think for the most part, they've, they've handled it well. Do you appreciate the fact that the FLPA is, is essentially trying to protect you guys? Or do you think it's silly? No, I mean... There's obviously the balance there, you know. Um, like I said, for us, it's just, you know, we just got to be pros about it and, uh, you know, make sure we're not on the ground or, or doing anything extra. Is it more difficult for guys up front, especially when it's like you kind of only go one speed, like rain back from that physicality when you're in shorts? Yeah, I mean, it's tough, but uh, there's obviously even more physicality that comes in when you put pads on. Um, you know, there is a little bit more finish, I guess, if you will. But, uh, you know, like I said, we just got to continue to be pros, you know, with the situation and uh, keep getting better at technique and, and the fundamental side of things and, and, you know, do our thing there. This is your, your third different regime now, the head coaching regime. Have you been struck by the intensity of these practices? Has it stand, stood out or is it something that's just kind of an observation? Um. Yeah, I mean... Like I said, we're a young team where, you know, the intense practices are good for us. They're going to help us in the long run. You know, I think that I think the biggest thing is, you know, guys are just getting in shape and, uh, you know, learning the offense, learning the defense. You know, it's totally new for a lot of us, um, you know, but, uh, you know, I like the direction our team's going and I think we're going to, you know, continue to get better. Cody, where do you detect the areas of improvement specifically with Justin? Uh, you know, you just I just feel like he's more comfortable. Um, you know, his, his leadership has taken a, net, a step, you know, and I think that just comes from him being more comfortable from year one to year two, you know, a little bit more experience, seeing, seeing things, a, you know, a second time or third time or fourth time, um, you know, and he's only going to continue to grow. How, how, how does, he's been credited with, you know, having, like you say, command of the huddle. How does his command of the huddle make you better and make the offense better? Well, I think just when he comes in to, per, you know, enunciate the play or give us, you know, what we need to to know to get out there and execute the play, you know, it's just a lot more s smooth. Um, you know, he says it with more confidence. And like I said, I think that's just, you know, him developing from year one to year two. Um, you know, but we like where Justin's at and, um, you know, really excited for the year. You guys are rotating people around uh, up front. How long can you do that before you really yeah. like just to have a group? To work with? Yeah, I mean, as we all know, the, the offensive line forever changes. You know, there's injuries, there's – um, you know, all, all sorts of things. But, uh, you know, the one thing they have been apparent with us is they're going to play the best five. And, you know, if, you know, that's that's what we want. We want that competition. We want, you know, to bring out the best in every player. So, um, you know, that's all you can ask for. And, and the guys have responded really well. You know, they're giving great effort. They're, you know, really doing good things out there. With the amount of uh, rookies and young guys in your room, uh, what have things been like with Lucas Patrick coming in? You guys kind of being the... Yeah, you know, Lucas is has been with, um, you know, Coach Getty and, uh, you know, so just having that aspect as far as the playbook, helping those young guys out, you know, because even as a seven-year guy, I'm still learning new things too, you know. So, uh, you know, but we try and all help each other out. Um, Lucas has been a great present in our um, in our O-line room and, uh, you know, he's he's a lot of fun, good player, um, you know, and very smart and intelligent. So he's he's definitely brought that to the to the uh, group for sure. You saw Bra uh, Braxton. I've lost a little bit. Um, I've probably lost 10 pounds, maybe. Um, you know, feel good. Um, you know, I'm ready to roll. When Ryan Poles came in, he talked about setting a, a standard for every every player about what their weight should be. What has that been like? It's been pretty easy for me. Um, 
you know, I really wasn't too, too heavy, I guess, if you will. Um, but it's been pretty smooth. We saw Braxton Jones stepping in at left tackle. What has he brought to that position? What have been your impressions of him so far? Yeah, Braxton, Braxton's a tough kid, uh, very athletic. Um, you know, he's, he's got really long arms as well. Um, you know, he's, he's learning, um, you know, as, as – you know, hard as that is to be thrown in the fire like that. Um, you know, I felt like he's responded well and, you know, excited to see what he can bring. How do you feel like uh, Getty's scheme fits you personally? Yeah, I, I enjoy it a lot. Um, you know, the whole weight thing, I think just getting in shape and being able to move well and, and get to the second level. But, uh, you know, I've enjoyed it so far. Do you miss playing center? <laughs> I don't care where I play. Um, you know, I just, I just love being out there and playing ball.